Please be seated for the Chancellor of the University of Lincoln. Uh, City uh, Sheriff, uh, um, Lord Mayor, Deputy Lieutenant, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure to be able to welcome you today uh, to this graduation ceremony for the University of Lincoln. You are all very, very welcome. This is a special day for everybody in this fine cathedral. A day of celebration, a day of reflection, a day of contemplation about the good fortune, the hard work, the deep commitment that every one of our graduates has made. I'd like to welcome all family, friends and supporters, all supporters of the university, uh, the marvellous staff who have made this such a wonderful institution, such a place of fine learning and opportunity. But most of all, our graduates, these marvellous, you marvellous students who have spent your time here in the University of Lincoln and who graduate today. This is, of course, a very special day, a very happy day, but also a solemn day in terms of reflecting on all that has happened in the past and all the opportunities that you will now be presented with in the future. You're all very welcome. Thank you very much indeed. Canon Missioner will offer the congregation her welcome on behalf of the Dean and Chapter. Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, family, friends and graduates. It is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Cathedral's chapter, who are its governing body, and all those involved in its life and work, to offer you a very warm welcome to this graduation ceremony. You are almost very welcome on this important day. Lincoln Cathedral is a place of worship and pilgrimage to which all are welcome. And as well as being a building of historical importance, it is a place where you as members of the university have been held in our prayers during your time in this city and continues to be a place that will pray for you as you begin the next stage of your life. It has been a center of learning and education for over 950 years. And so this morning you are following in the footsteps of many other students through the ages in continuing this tradition. Today we come to celebrate with those of you receiving degrees, but we also come to thank those people that have made that possible. The staff of the university, both academic and administrative, together with your families, supporters and friends. For those of you graduating, today marks the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. There'll be exciting challenge and thrilling adventures waiting for you. I hope that you will fulfill your ambitions and dreams and may I wish you all every success in whatever the future holds for you. I invite you now to a moment of stillness in this house of prayer as I pray. God of wisdom, to whom we give thanks for the gift of learning, hear us now as we give thanks for those achievements we recognize today. And bless us with the continued gift of insight and knowledge into the wonder and beauty of creation, that our lives may be ever more fully enriched and the world in which we live become ever closer to the image of your perfection. This I ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as we have held you in our prayers during your time here, you will also be remembered in prayer at our evening service at 5.30 today. Whether you're able to join us in person at that service or not, Please go from this place with our prayers and our best wishes for your future. Thank you. Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Lincoln, 
Professor Abigail Moriarty will address the congregation. Good morning, Chancellor, esteemed friends of the university, family, loved ones, students, student union and colleagues, and most importantly, to you, graduates. Yes, this is all about you. Today is about celebrating your success. To do that, we would like to hear some noise. We would like you to join in in the whoops and the clapping and the encouragement for family and friends passing the stage. Family and friends, at the back and the sides, I'd like you to stand up at this moment, please, if you are able. Stand up. It's absolutely fine. You can stand up. I want you to set the bar for how you are going to celebrate your loved one's success. So I want you to give a shout out and truly celebrate your loved one's success. And I really mean it. Give it a shout out. Let me hear you after three. One, hold it, two, three. <laughs> Not bad. You can take your seats. So, graduates, as, as the PVC for education and students, and being fair and transparent in my assessment, I would give your loved ones a B minus. So, this is the opportunity to show it how it's done. Give me the shout out you deserve. Raise this amazing cathedral's roof. Show your hard work, dedication and potential and how awesome you all are. So go for it after three. You can feel the tension. One, two, three. <laughs> Superb, and that, family and friends, is how it's done. So after that excitement, I want to take a moment to reflect on your journey, because it's all about you. The journey that has brought us here together. Do you remember your first day at Lincoln? The people you met, the friends that are now lifelong friends, the student union teams and societies you may have joined, the fun, the mistakes, yes, but the success. Embrace it, all that it is your Lincoln experience. Those experiences will be shared with family and colleagues around the nation and worldwide. You are a member of the Lincoln family for life. Have no regrets, what, no what ifs, and learn from those mistakes or things that you would have done slightly different for your future ahead. Each one of you has embarked on a remarkable voyage of discovery, one that has tested your intellect, your resilience and your character and your patience. Remember those late nights, the sacrifices and the part-time jobs and that incredible hard work that has paid off. You are preparing to step into the world beyond these walls. I am filled personally with overwhelming sense of pride and optimism. Throughout your time here, you have not only acquired knowledge, but also forged bonds that will last a lifetime. You have challenged assumptions, confronted obstacles, and emerged stronger and wiser for that experience. The path ahead may be uncertain, and that is okay, because I have every confidence that your Lincoln experience has equipped you 
to meet whatever challenges are in store. Remember that you carry with you not just an academic award, but a legacy. A legacy of excellence, of innovation, of service to others, civic duty and that responsibility. It is my hope that you will honour that legacy in all that you do, striving always to make a positive impact on the world and those with you. As it stands, you are in a new chapter of your life and I urge you to embrace those opportunities that await you with the courage and enthusiasm I know you have. Be bold in your aspirations, steadfast in your convictions and compassionate and kind when dealing with others. For it is through that pursuit of excellence and the relentless pursuit of truth that you will potentially fill, you will fill your potential. In closing, let me offer my heartfelt congratulations to each and one of you. I want to thank the academic colleagues and professional service colleagues that have supported you in your success. Thank you for your dedication. Graduates, you may have an uh, uncertain path ahead or something very clear that you are aspiring for. Whatever that is to be, your futures will be bright, your hearts to be full and your lives to be filled with meaning and purposes. So make us proud, class of 22 and 24. Congratulations, graduates. The world awaits your brilliance. Thank you. And the really important bit, by the authority vested in me by the university, I am pleased to confer upon you all the awards which you are entitled. Well done. Mr. Stefan Latouche will present graduands who are receiving their awards this morning. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduate receiving a research award from the School of Engineering for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering for their thesis enabling future in orbit missions using next generation dexterous end over end walking manipulators, Manu Harishkrishnan Naya. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the School of Engineering for the degree of Master of Science in Engineering Management, Kafayat Jedasola Adeniyi. Bamakwanunye <laughs> Tamatunye Amadi. Jide Aretemu. Kingsley Ikena Azubwike. Jin Kalkuma Marahandra Kuma Baravadia. Bimo David Bassi. <laughs> Robbie J. Cato. <laughs> David Uje Demowo. <laughs> Uchachukwu Prince Will. Ekwarugwo. <laughs> Mehmet Orkan Eldal. <laughs> 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 
Mohamed Umer Farouk. Syed Mohamed Hadi. Jonathan Martins Ibn Ezebor. Emmanuel Chukwufumnia Ibonye. Adagoke Curtis Izola. Uchechukwu Akuna Iwueke. Pardeep Kumar. Shiona McDougall. Salman Mukhtar. Farooq Munir. Saban Mushtaq. Wasim Nawaz. Ranjit Ramesh Shadadara. Jude Ogbebo. Matthew Seimi Akumu Ombe. Francis Soloasian Owalabi. Anderson Olawala Olawalaja. Mohammed Samir. Harpreet Singh. Pushminda Singh. Shivendra Umeshchandra Singh. Ranak Pareshbhai Sutta. Patrick Uche. For the postgraduate diploma in engineering management, Charandeep Singh. Vikrant Bhagat. For the degree of Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Prabal. Anton Nikhil Antonaramish. Aaron Asamoa Asiedu. Harrison Robert Edwards. Prince Chiedozi Egozo Ua. Vishal Gopala Kokane. Jeffrey Ahomatome Itawanza. Ifeanyi Julius Njoku.
Paul Akinmide Olatoye. Wasiu Abiodun Salami. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Mechanical Engineering, Vishal Gangani. For the Degree of Master of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Samuel Battle. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduands receiving first awards from the School of Engineering for the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Engineering Electronics, Ivan Pang. <laughs> for the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Integrated Engineering, Benjamin Klukas. Jamie Hill. Eugene Jaravliov. Johan Anton Mesh. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Rishi Akilam. <laughs> ben Oliver Butterworth. <laughs> Mohammed Ahmad Khan. Lauren Townsend. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering with Science Foundation Year, Joseph Jackson. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering with Science Foundation Year, Harrison Reed. Kyle Vesey. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduate receiving a research award from the School of Sport and Exercise Science in the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Sports and Exercise Science for their thesis exploring context and, uh, exploring context and complexity in the implementation of novel lifestyle interventions in health promotion and public health, Jeffrey Middleton. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the School of Sport and Exercise Science for the degree of Master of Science in Sport Science, David James Allen. Adam Christopher Bridal. Lucy Olivia Clark. George Henry Evans. <laughs> Dilshan Priyadashana Liana Arachije. James Luscombe. For the degree of Master of Science in Sports Therapy, Victoria Brailsford. Rhys David Adam Brown. <laughs> Lily Gavin. <laughs> Ashley Jordan Lomax. <laughs> Sophie Jade Potter.
Brandon Dean Sykes. Max Unwin. Lauren Jade Williams. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving first awards from the School of Sport and Exercise Science. In the honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport and Exercise Science, Matthew Parmenta. <laughs> Brianna Phillip. <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education in Sport and Exercise Science, Joshua Mutimbanyoko. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport and Exercise Therapy, Leon Goddard Nichols. <laughs> Eric Rubinov. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Lincoln School of Architecture and the Built Environment. For the degree of Master of Architecture, Ross Alexander Lockwood. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Interior Architecture and Design, Anupuma Suresh Barada. <laughs> Akanksha Chopra. Anisha Gudiga Ravashanka Dodmain. <laughs> Laura Durant. <laughs> Hafsa Mirjan. <laughs> Samuel Olawag Boyega Jayola. Ulash Krishnapa. <laughs> Zainab Akbarali Rangunwala. <laughs> Sherry Eugenia Rodriguez. Masture Sadrapur. <laughs> Shalaka Anai Shalu. <laughs> Lama Ali Sweepe. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Construction Science and Management, Kazim. Ibrahim Afalayan. <laughs> Faisayo Ayamide Ajayi. <laughs> Faraz Ali. <laughs> Simon Castledine. Shalene Sheritich Engetich. <laughs> Melankuma Jitabai Patel. <laughs> Urvesh Ashvinbai Jaroya. Madi Yazdanka. <laughs> For the postgraduate diploma in professional practice and management in architecture, Samuel Joseph Winton. <laughs> J. 
Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving first awards from the Lincoln School of Architecture and the Built Environment for the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Architecture in Architecture, Jessica Elizabeth Chadis Abram. <laughs> Harvey Burton. <laughs> Max Copeland. Jake Crick. Woo! Imogen Charlotte Fraser. <laughs> Peter Joseph Needham. <laughs> Regilla Prakapate. Connor Francis Regan. Jordan Robinson. Martha May Robinson. Oscar Sands. Adam Robert Yates. And that concludes the first part of the presentation of awards. We call upon alumnus of the School of Engineering, Mr. Amit Karayil to address the congregation. Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates, family, and friends. It is an absolute honor and privilege to stand before you today on this momentous occasion. As you sit here in this marvelous cathedral, ready for the next chapter of your lives, I want to take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey that has brought you to this very moment. First and foremost, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to each one of you. This day is a testament to your hard work, dedication, and perseverance over the years. You have faced countless challenges, overcome numerous obstacles, and demonstrated an unwavering commitment to your education. My life in this university was not different. I still remember the countless hours spent in the great Central Warehouse Library digging through books, research journals, and academic papers. With the support of my lecturers in the university, I was able to successfully complete my dissertation which was later published by MDPI, an open access scientific journal. This great university shaped my scientific temper, critical thinking, decision-making skills, spirit of inquiry, and an attitude of self-reflection and awareness. After my graduation, I joined Arcadis as a senior design engineer. In November 2022, the university kindly invited me for a session with School of Engineering students. Last year, I came back to the university again at the engine shed to deliver my TED talk. Today, I'm fortunate enough to witness this amazing ceremony along with all of you. I welcome you all to become part of a global alumni community which is made up of more than 120,000 graduates from across 135 countries. Now, as you prepare to enter the next phase of your lives, I want to remind you that the journey to success is not always easy. There will be obstacles to overcome, setbacks to endure, and challenges to face. But I urge you to embrace these obstacles as opportunities for growth and learning. 
As you embark on this new chapter of your lives, I challenge you to be agents of change in the world. Use your knowledge, skills, and talents to make a positive impact in your communities and beyond. Whether it's through groundbreaking research, innovative entrepreneurship, or acts of kindness and compassion, each one of you has the power to change the world for the better. In closing, I want to leave you with a quote from a person who served twice as a prime minister for this great country, Winston Churchill, who once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Class of 2023, as you go forth into the world, may you always remember the indomitable spirit that resides within you, and may you continue to inspire others with passion, drive, and determination. Congratulations once again, and thank you. Mr. Stefan Latouche will continue presenting the graduands who are receiving their awards this morning. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduands receiving research awards from the Lincoln School of Creative Arts. For the degree of Master of Research in Performing Arts, Drama, Dance and Music, Harry Baker Smith. Lauren Jade Hickman. Abiola Comfort Ogedengbe. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Lincoln School of Creative Arts for the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Shivang Ambada. Tyler May Barker. <laughs> Jessica Louise Bobovich. <laughs> Tyler Coleman. <laughs> Dorsa Van Der Nee. Amy Catherine Eyre. <laughs> Virju Guni Yilmaz. <laughs> Russell Michael Gurnhill. <laughs> Regan Jones. Shauna Jane Kennedy. <laughs> Abigail Lucy Laycock. <laughs> Joanne Elizabeth Major. <laughs> Beth Parker. Martin Patrick Rosser. <laughs> Natalie Ruth Sands. <laughs> Sean Louise Toop. <laughs> Rachel Twist. Naya Uparheya. <laughs> Dr.
แปนเวลส์ for the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing and Publishing Kelly May Matt for the degree of Master of Arts in Fine Art Benjamin Wright For the degree of Master of Arts in Theatre, Emilio Michel Davis. <laughs> Jessica Emily Hickey. <laughs> Hannah Vivian King. Thomas Tim Thoy John McHugh, <laughs> Timothy Peverell, <laughs> Lou Bright. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving first awards from the Lincoln School of Creative Arts for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Dance, Claudia Victoria Miziala. <laughs> for the honors degree of Bachelor of Arts in Drama and English, Melina Burwood. <laughs> Natasha Musarowa. For the honors degree of Bachelor of Arts in Drama and Theatre, Charlie Brewer. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Fine Art, David Thomas Walton. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving research awards from the Lincoln School of Design. For the degree of Doctor in, of Philosophy in Design, for their thesis, Understanding the Nature of Space and Second Life, with reference to the work of Henry Leverbeuve's The Production of Space, Zayana Mohammed Al Jaradi. <laughs> and for their thesis, Saxophone Live, Ex Live Exchanges, Annie Murad. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Lincoln School of Design for the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Advertising, Charlotte Badenoch. <laughs> Matthew Oliver Bailey. <laughs> Penny James Kidd. Rabia Sophie Majid. <laughs> David George Mason. <laughs> Kieran O'Driscoll. <laughs> Daisy Chelsea Ann Palmer. Ti Chu Hang Pan. <laughs> Vadan Nilesh Sada. <laughs> Oli Townsend. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Design, Isabel Astley. Deborah Olawanimi Bamidele.
Keris Dag. Joshua Dale. Abigail Denat. Lara Finch. Barbara Helena Grajek. Catherine Maybe. Rebecca Markwick. Eilish Shaw. Abigail Jenna Ward. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving first awards from the Lincoln School of Design for the honours degree of Bachelor of Arts in Creative Advertising with Arts Foundation Year, Helma Diedrich Perabum. <laughs> For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Illustration, Jordan Collier. <laughs> Faye Johnston. <laughs> Ryan Phillips. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Product Design, Daniel David Hatfield. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduate receiving a research award from the Lincoln School of Film, Media and Journalism for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Media and Cultural Studies for their thesis, an analysis of the female television personality within the BBC Television Talks Department from 1946 to 1961, Diane Charlesworth. Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Lincoln School of Film, Media and Journalism for the degree of Master of Arts in Film Production, Temilolua Adeyinka Ayalota. <laughs> Will Barlow. Joseph Paul Bennett. <laughs> Brees Luke Finnis. <laughs> Emma Rose Hines. <laughs> Azafi Eustace Olary Egbe. Shelby Louise Stevens. <laughs> Holly Mae Turner. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Journalism, Izzy Box. <laughs> Deborah Thamby. For the degree of Master of Arts in Journalism Arts, Samuel Burroughs. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Journalism Sports, Joseph Charles Thomas O'Neill. <laughs> Kieran Powders. Karen Vinod. For 
with a degree of Master of Arts in Journalism, War and International Human Rights, Minnie Jessica Box. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Media and Communications, Fatima Tu Ahmed. <laughs> Mohammed Hamza Iqbal. Halima Tamalola Kazim. <laughs> India, Ro India Rose Nolson. <laughs> James Robert Edward Lee. Oliver <laughs> Shagan Joel. Ola Osa Bikan. Ola Watasin Bolawatiwi Sayemi. For the degree of Master of Arts in Studies in Media and Culture, Daniela Ballard. Adam William Jackson. <laughs> Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving first awards from the Lincoln School of Film, Media and Journalism. For the honours degree of Bachelor of Arts in Film and Television Studies, Jamie Clark. <laughs> Nei Xin Shu. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Film and Television Studies, Emily Victoria Saunders. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Film Production, Helen Blackburn. Matty Kaywood. Megan Dawes. Jared Palmer. Hao Sin Shi. the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism Studies, Cameron McBain. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Media Production, James Dunn. For the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Sound and Music Production, Karee Liu. Harry Francis Smith. And for the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Arts in Sports Journalism, Jack William Byron Smith. And that concludes the presentation of awards this morning. Well done. Now invite Mr. Patrick Uche to say a few words on behalf of those graduating this morning. Chancellor. 
pro-chancellor, pro-vice-chancellor, distinguished guests, friends, family, and my fellow graduating colleagues. I would like to begin by stating, first of all, how much of an honor it is and a privilege to be stood here in front of you on such a momentous occasion. To give you, or give us, the 2023-2024 student graduation vote of thanks. Today's event is a culmination of months of hard work, sacrifice, and academic achievement. It is an opportunity for all of us to recognize the amount of effort that went into getting here today. And it's an opportunity to say to each and every one of us, thank you to the academic staff and to you, well done. You got it done. To those of us graduating, I'd like to congratulate you for your perseverance, your dedication, and your hard work. You know, the time I've been and the time I've spent in Lincoln, I've had opportunity to meet some truly brilliant minds and some equally remarkable personalities during the time here together. And I'm proud to call you, each and every one of you sat here in front of me, my colleagues. It has been a pleasure sharing this phase of my life, this phase of our lives together. And today, in this beautiful surroundings, surrounded by such love and warmth, for at least one more day, let us savor the magic that I can feel in this room today. Let us savor the pleasure of co-traveling together. And as we part ways and venture into that cold unknown, may the lessons we've learned and the time we spent together from overcoming challenges, both individually and collectively, serve as a useful guide to illuminate our paths. To the esteemed institution of the University of Lincoln, the dedicated teaching faculty, the hardworking administrative staff, and the invaluable support services team. My colleagues and I extend our, our heartfelt gratitude. Your collective efforts have created an environment that combines the delivery of academic excellence with a sense of camaraderie and community building. For you have provided us with a nurturing environment, environment where students from very multiple and diverse backgrounds, cultures and experiences were able to develop academically and personally those critical thinking skills, creativity, social networks that hopefully, or I, I truly believe, will stand them in good stead in the ever-changing real world out there. And to my lecturers, some of you I see sat here in front of me, I would actually like to apologize. On my behalf and behalf of my colleagues, because now, as someone who has since had the pleasure of joining you as an associate lecturer, I fully appreciate the sheer amount of time and effort that goes into preparing content for each lecture. Assignment setting, marking, providing invaluable feedback. And then you throw in resits for good measure. Wow. Truly, you guys are amazing. Lastly, to our families, we say a deep and heartfelt thank you. Thank you for your unwavering love, your support and sacrifices. For it was these, these were the foundations upon which our achievements today have been solidly set. So, not to take up too much more of your time, in closing, I'd like to say I personally, and I'm sure my colleagues sat in front of me, 
are truly excited about tomorrow because of all that we have shared today. To you, my graduating colleagues, I say, don't ever stop dreaming. Don't ever stop creating. Keep moving. And to the amazing people of the University of Lincoln, I say, don't stop being the wonderful people that you are. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for this honor. And I wish you all the very best of luck for the future. Thank you. Patrick, thank you very much indeed for those very powerful words, uh, very strongly felt sentiments clearly, uh, and I'm sure everybody here uh, appreciated very much what you had to say. It is now my privilege and pleasure to uh, bring the formal part of today's uh, celebration uh, to a close, and in so doing I'd like to pick up on some of the themes that Patrick has so eloquently spoken about. The first is, uh, on behalf of the entire university community, to thank uh, all the family, friends and supporters who have joined us here today. Uh, really, your commitment uh, to those whom you love and care for who have attended this university is astounding and deeply appreciated. I'm sure they recognise, as we all do, your commitment, uh, sacrifice and dedication to their success. Uh, and you will always, as friends, family and supporters of our graduates, be welcome uh, in this university and we very much hope remain part of our university family. I'd like to also thank the marvellous staff of the University of Lincoln, our academic staff, administrative staff, support staff, who care about every student who comes here and who care about every graduate that leaves us. A remarkable uh, community of staff to, which we are, to whom we are all uh, indebted. Finally, my thanks go to our graduates, remarkable uh, individuals who chose the University of Lincoln, who have made such a wonderful contribution to the life of the university whilst you have been here. Uh, as you move forward to address the challenges and opportunities uh, of the next stage of your lives, please remember uh, that this university remains your home. We very much hope that you will uh, join and then be active participants in our alumni community. Uh, it's, as we heard earlier, a remarkable community that extends throughout the world uh, and your ongoing contribution to it is vitally important to the health and future of this great university. Uh, we will take very great pride in hearing from you and hearing about your achievements and contributions in the years to come. And in turn, we hope that you will uh, achieve much satisfaction in hearing how your great university develops in the years to come. As you leave us for this next stage in your lives, uh, we look forward to your success, your prosperity, but also your determination to deliver a greater good, to contribute to the communities, society, nations around the world, which you will have the opportunity to do, and in so doing, achieve great personal satisfaction beyond that of your personal success. It's now my very great pleasure to invite you as our new graduates to take your places rightfully in the academic procession uh, to the castle grounds where all in this cathedral are welcome to join the next stage of our celebrations. Thank you very much indeed. Our ceremony is now concluded. The academic procession will leave the platform 
and make its way through the Great West Door and across Castle Square. As it passes, our new graduates will themselves take their places in the procession and leave the cathedral. As they do so, please stay in your places and give them a final round of applause before you join us all in the castle grounds. Please all rise for the full academic procession.